All right, so long. We are the brothers from the GMS Camp Atlanta, and before we get started, we would like to give our honor and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakhak, Wadash, and our honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to your hopeful 144 elect out there that's been pushing this truth. And the title of the lesson is um, Believe It or Not, and mainly I'm going to get into, you know, you Israelites, because judgment starts at the house of Israel first. But we can get that right quick. Um, and Peter's got the buckle shot. You got that too, like. Oh, 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 you got it. Come on. First Peter 4 17. Come on. I'm about to say, you're not down there. I got you, bro. Come on. Yeah. All right. This is uh, First Peter chapter 4 and verse 17. It says, For the time is come. That judgment must begin at the house of the Most High, and if it is, and if it first begin with, at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? So, understanding that precept, we understand that judgment starts at the house of Israel, which contains you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and so on. You know, all you twelve tribes. All right. So the so the laws, you know the the um the the laws the covenant. And the promises unto the Israel, you know, unto Israelites, you know. So what's going to happen when you break those laws? Judgment is coming, you know. Whether you hear it or forbear it, whether you believe it or not, you know. This is not about, the, the, the work is not about filthy lucre. Mm -hmm. The work is not about who looks the best, who's the biggest, who's the loudest, who, who's who, who got more money, you know? So we got a lot of Israelites out there that know they're Israelites, you know? And they're thinking, hey, we're going to be okay. We're going to be all right. Mm -hmm. But no, man, y'all just doing that for vain glory. Mm -hmm. you, you're not following the correct ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. If you can get that Romans 9, go to um, verse 4. This is Romans Nine, and I'll start the verse. Verse four: Who are Israelites, to whom pertain the adoption and the glory, and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promises? Come on. So, the, the laws once again are for Israel. You know that. You know you're supposed to do this day in and day out. Not marching and doing once again doing this with vain glory. You're supposed to maintain, be rooted up, continue to do lessons, continue to you know be with the brother, be with the Akim. But since we we all know that these other camps are not doing that, these basically um, these are wild grapes, you know. Mm -hmm. These are just wild niggas who just do this for fun and game. That's why I had the brother bring out on um, Peters. If you, you can give that one more time for Bakasha. This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 17. It says, For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? Mm -hmm. Judgment, death, and destruction. You being carnal, you want in vain glory. You're not going out on the highways and byways. You worrying about your money. It's going to all lead you into death. That goes back to you being of this world. That goes back to you being having that carnal mindset. You know. And if I'm one of you brothers got precepts, you guys can bring it up. Come. That's it. Yeah. Come. Yeah. This is Isaiah 30. I sorry nine. That this is a rebellious people, mm -hmm. lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. And how about she now shot? Yeah, man. Rebellious children. You know? That goes back to the, what I believe what Titus are on um, Second Timothy with the filthy lucre. Titus. Titus, come. Yeah, we can get it right quick. Because that's a rebellious act. And we know behind the scenes that you guys are not being brotherly. You guys probably popping each other wives, you know. Most of y'all still getting lineups. 
just breaking the um, Levitical law, man. Once again, y'all breaking the law. Well, at well, least you breaking the law. Death. You're not going to get saved, man. Unless you come back and repent to your heart by Most of you people are still um, preaching Jesus Christ and whatever else, Yahweh. You need to repent and come back to your Yahweh while Yahweh shot and follow his law, statutes, and commandments. You got it, bro. God, this is uh, Titus chapter 1, verse 7. It says, For a bishop must be blameless as a steward of the Most High, not, uh, not self willed, <laughs> not soon angry, not given to wine, no, no striking, not given to filthy lucre, but a lover of hospitality, mm -hmm. a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate. And that's what you guys are not doing. You know? You guys are not blameless. You guys are not trying to be blameless. You guys are into the different philosophies, into Esau philosophies, taking on what he's saying. Once again, prime example, Jesus Christ. Seize your boy's ear. That was oh. a yeah. Okay. Come on, you got something to say? Yeah. No, oh. I, got, I got a precept for come you. Come This is uh, okay. Isaiah uh, chapter 1. I started verse 3. It says, The ox knoweth his owner, mm -hmm. and the ass is master's crib. Mm -hmm. But Israel doeth not know. My people doeth not consider. Doeth not consider. Y'all don't consider the fact that we've been giving you the correct name. Starting at, with the um, apostle and the elder of the great millstone, you've been given the correct doctrine through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. Right. But y'all don't consider it, man. Mm -hmm. You know? You continue to. Yeah. I can oh, you add to it. Mm -hmm. um, it says, an ox of his owner and his ass his master's crib. Those are two pretty simple animals. Uh -huh. right, that, that knows the, the Lord is comparing Israel to two simple animals, man. Mm -hmm. They know their owner and their master's crib, but Israel do not know. All right? Because our people are, are simple, man, and, and, and they reject knowledge because it's out here, you know, for them to get, you know, ain't like it, it's hidden under the rock, you know, simple Google search, simple uh, a click of a button, man, you can, you, can, you can really see who you are as, as, as a people, man, but our people are too into, like the brother's going into, Esau's philosophy, all the folly that he has out here to distract our people and keep them uh in that sense of deep sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Jake just don't care. Bro. Mm -hmm. They just don't care. If it's not getting them no kind of money or no kind of women mm -hmm. or you know anything no fame. Cloud. Yeah, no mm -hmm. they not man, they push that push that jump to the side, man. That's right. Come on. Come on. Um, I continue for you, bro. Come on. Uh verse four, it says a simple nation and people laden with iniquity. Can you get that word laden? Wow. Uh, it says a, a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, mm -hmm. a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, mm -hmm. they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel into anger. Mm -hmm. They are gone away backwards. Y'all are gone away backwards, man. Mm -hmm. He's angry. Mm -hmm. You know? You people are a seed of evildoers, man. When you going behind the scenes, getting lineups, popping up another brother's rib, doing this, doing that, still being carnal, that's a that's an evil act. That's a wicked act. We read in Romans that the, the laws that you was a commandment was given into the house of Israel. You breaking that covenant, you breaking those laws. Mm -hmm. Here it is. He gave you a time to come back and repent, and you're not doing it. He, he gave you a, um, a time to do the right thing, and you're not doing it. He gave you the time. To increase your faith, and you're not doing it. Mm -hmm. He gave you brother, brothers, Salakia, mm -hmm. to be to be hosp hospitable. You know, bear each other burdens. You know, teach each other through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. But you guys did not consider it, man. Mm -hmm. Right, come. You got that word, bro. Yep. Yeah, you laden. The word for laden is kabod, and it means heavy or great. Mm -hmm. Massive, abundant, numerous. Mm -hmm. Hold on, man. They say that they're laden with iniquity, man. Mm -hmm. That's caked up, man. Just, our people got hella demons on them, bro, when it comes mm -hmm. to, uh, to, to, uh, to the truth. Yeah. Because they'll, they'll try to remix it if they do, you know, gain some sort of, of, of uh, knowledge. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. They think they know more than the apostles. You know, they want to uh, twist things up and, mm -hmm. and do their own thing, man. Mm -hmm. they, they, they try to be newcomers. Come on. The, the apostle um, Gabar gave a beautiful lesson about those guys. Uh, novel, a novice, novice, a novelist, novelist. You know, yeah, which goes back to, to being new. All right, they, they think the Lord dealing with them exclusively. Okay, here it is. The, the uh, elders and apostles of GMS have, have been diligent for 30 plus years. Mm -hmm. All right, and here it is. You think the Lord is going to move them out of the way and, and, and totally disregard their works for Jake that's been knowing who he is, all right, for, for three to four years. Mm -hmm. and, and you think the Lord is dealing with you on some exclusive level that that, that the uh, elders and apostles aren't? Who, who did you guys learn most of those breakdowns from? Exactly. All right. Who, who, who started these sit down lessons? So, not to steer off topic, but those mm -hmm. guys as well, man, you fall into that, man, going the way backwards, man. That's right. Laying with iniquity, man. Because cause you, you still in that mind frame mm -hmm. of, of being in the world and can't nobody tell you shit. That's right. All right. That's, that's years, what, 20, 30 years, how old you are, of iniquity just packed on you, man. Mm -hmm. That you never stripped away and became as a new baby. All right. And that was still on that word or Salah. Yeah, that's um knowledge being puffed up, man. Mm -hmm. Here it is, you got a little taste of that meat and a little taste of the, the milk, you're sipping on the milk. And here it is, you think you think you know it all. But at the end of the day, you, you guys are dummies, man. Yep. <laughs> some 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 big head dummies, some stiff neck people, man. Yeah, for sure. Come on. Come, because uh, you know, jumping back on the topic, because the topic is uh, whether you believe it or not. Mm -hmm. So it says, um, <clears throat> Revelation chapter twenty-two and eleven. It says, "He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. Come. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. Mm -hmm. He that is holy, let him be holy still." So if you want to go into your filth, whether you believe it or not, whatever, bro, have yeah. at it. You know, but we gonna fall under uh, the correct order, yeah. the correct doctrine, and do what we're supposed to do according to Ecclesiastes twelve and uh, thirteen. I want to say, Come on. where Come on. that's the whole duty of man is to fear the Lord and keep His commandments. Come on. Okay, and the commandments was to go out on the highways and byways. Okay, and he he designated leaders um, above us according to Hebrews chapter thirteen and seventeen to uh, designate certain tasks. Doing our three videos a week, linking up with the audience at least one time a week. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we have our designated and uh, exclusive tasks that we do within the, bo the body of each perspective camp as well that we have to accomplish. Right. Okay? So if you don't want to fall into that, it's whether you believe it or not, bro. Exactly. It's not on me. Okay? Mm -hmm. You are the one who leads yourself to own self to destruction or lead yourself to salvation. So if you want to be filthy still, Go ahead and be filthy. If you want to be wicked still and don't want to uh, fall in order still, go on ahead, man. That's right. Not my problem. <laughs> God. All God. right? It was that Kermit the Frog sip tea. Yeah, it's hey. <laughs> God. Hey, I'm just going to follow the orders that it says uh, via uh, uh, the Bible, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'll follow the orders of the men who are set up and appointed above me who are in the correct spirit. Simple as that. But if you don't want to follow that and you want to go off on your own interpretations and your own understanding, it's clearly evident that you haven't read Proverbs the third chapter. It's clearly evident that you don't understand that how Hashem Yahshai has no respect for persons. That's right. Okay, so y'all can okay. Well, I'm going to add to your point too. Uh, it says, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Mm -hmm. That's why the spirit has shifted from cursing niggas out mm -hmm. and trying to beat Jake over the head with the truth. You still want Isaiah? What? Yeah, yes, sir. Go to verse 5. Mm -hmm. All right. Because this is mm -hmm. uh, Isaiah. Just, I'm going to continue. Verse 5, Isaiah 1 and 5. It says, Why should you be stricken anymore? <laughs> <laughs> you will revolt more and more. You, sorry. <laughs> you got it, bro. You got it. Why don't you just keep beating it? Beating a dead horse, so to speak. You're not going to get it, bro. So that's why the spirit has shifted from, from us really <laughs> just cursing things out, man. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. All right. All right? <laughs> so, we, you know, we, we're in the spirit of edifying, man, because this ain't for everybody anyway. This is for the whole elect. Come on. Come well, on. Well, it's for the elect, okay? Mm -hmm. And we do this, you know, because we are of the hopeful elect, you know. It's, it's, it's a hope 
they stay in that faith base. That's right. Um, continuing, it says, Why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. Man, the whole head, man. Because what? It starts from the head. Right. Once you get an a infection in the head, which is, uh, in this case, once your spirit gets corrupted, what uh, the so called white man did to the two thirds, oh, yeah. the whole thing's infected. So hey, you can't de you know, disinfect the leg and think the whole body's gonna cure itself. Yeah. No, it's done. Yeah. He got he got right here in the mental. Mm -hmm. It's done for. Yeah. So guess what? Whether you believe in it or not, we're gonna let you be uh, filthy still. We're gonna let you be uh, uh, wicked still. Okay, and we're gonna keep on mm -hmm. striving to be just and righteous to the best of our ability. Yes, right. We still do understand that our righteousness is as filthy rags, mm -hmm. but we still hate the spotted garment. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. I, I was looking at Salaki, brother. Uh -huh. I was looking into the word trim today. Mm -hmm. There's an adjective, there's a noun, and there's a verb for it. But the adjective for the word trim means neatly dressed or smartly dressed. Okay, you're not smartly dressed if the whole head is what? Defiled. Right. Okay, that means you got spotted, spotted garments of the flesh on, according to Jude, the 23rd verse. So you're dirty, nigga. <laughs> you're dirty. Okay, and we don't like being dirty. We don't like being filthy. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we stay away from that and try to keep the ones who are trying to strive for it to be clean. To, to stay in the thing, and if y'all are filthy and have spotty garments, hey, so be it. Because we, we tell you every day, we do our videos, we go on the highways and byways, it's whether you hear or bear. You know? uh -huh. Hey, that goes back to that believe it or not, man. You know? do, you, do you believe enough to come out? Do you believe enough to stop getting um, lineups trying to look cute? You know, do you believe, do you believe enough that he's gonna come back and save you, you know? Because it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Whether you believe it or not. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Oh, oh so watch it. Because I, I just wanna say, I'll jump it right back mm -hmm. to y'all, because I wanna say this. Because things happen and, and, and people get mad at petty shit, mm -hmm. but it doesn't stop the fact that the mark of the beast is amping up. It doesn't stop the fact that there's war across in the other, in the other side of the, uh, the world. On the earth, it doesn't stop the fact that martial law has already been implemented via these executive orders going all the way back to John F. Kennedy. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen, so whatever, bro, whether you believe it or not, these things are going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's like me, um, just for example, if I was walking in the city and I trip, right, and I look up, but people are still walking, they're still going, right? They're still active, you know? Life is still going on, you know? Yeah. They're still walking, minding their business, trying to get to work. Just like the Lord. You guys still want to be niggas. You guys still don't want to do this and do that. The prophecies are still happening. Life still goes on. The scriptures say this earth is going to pass away, man. You know? And uh, what you going to say? I believe his brother had a precept. Oh, kind of. Oh, oh, this is Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Mm -hmm. God. And who who is that man? Mm -hmm. Our apostle is a great millstone, man. Mm -hmm. And we wholeheartedly believe that that this is the hundred percent truth. Those pastors have to have been given. Alright? Kind. Of. Those little uh kind, of, you know, and, and if I could add, you know, we believe, you know, those were, are the men, you know, from GMS, man. Our apostles and elders, you know, starting with Apostle Hart on down and their elders, man. You know, that's been feeding us with this um with this truth, man. You know, this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you know, the scriptures, man. You know, this didn't come from some some guys, you know, that just newly came along, came along five years in, man. Alright? And I got something else for you too, right? This is um you can get, you can break this down. This is Romans 10 and 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? You know, so a lot of you guys, you know, they're trying to go into, you know, uh, thinking that you can have different doctrines, man. You know, where did you get the name from, man? You know, how did you hear, man? You, you have a teacher, not a preacher, man. You know, where did you get the name from? You know, but a lot of you niggas out there, man, continuously going off, man. You, you're not trying to get a double honest. 
You know, Ty Foster knows they've been laboring, oh, laboring over 30 years, man. Uh-huh. You know, uh-huh. a lot of you niggas act like you you all brought the name to Israel, man. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's, man, the time comes, a lot of you niggas gonna get jacked up, man. Cause a lot of you proud right now, man. You know, seeking that vain glory, man. Mm-hmm. That, that's a wicked act, man. To, to take something and run with it. Mm-hmm. And not go along with it. Mm-hmm. You know, just, yeah. Yeah. Con, that's a wicked act. And you're gonna get judged for it, man. How did you know you was an Israelite? Who did you hear that from? How did you how did you um learn the name, you know? Yahweh Yahweh Shah. Who taught you through the spirit at the end of the day? You know? And you just taking it and run and running with it, adding on to the word and taking away from the word. You know? That, that goes back to the next issue. You can get it right quick, Bob Shah. Yeah, same job. Yeah, totally true. Mm-hmm. Um, you want me to grab that? Yeah, you can get it right quick. Because believe it or not, you you guys think y'all slip doing that, you know, with the vain glory, yeah. getting more people into your congregation, mm-hmm. walking around with your um, chin up, you know, like you just know it all. My mm-hmm. like IYC um, was, was traveling to different colleges, and people mm-hmm. looking up to that, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, yeah. Man- manipulating people. That's a wicked act, man. So um, you can get that right quick. This is uh, Revelation chapter 22 and 18. It says, For I testify, Salah, for I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. All right. If any man shall add unto these things, the Most High shall add unto uh, him the plagues that are written in this book. Come on. You guys looking dumber and dumber. We can see it. You know? Y'all getting easily cut up. We can see. What we say is rousing up y'all spirits. Y'all getting angry. You know, y'all want to false accuse us and continue to call us names, bums. Mm-hmm. Look at these skirts. Oh, they rape um, little girls. Y'all spirits getting more amped up. We see that. Mm-hmm. Because y'all, y'all, can't, y'all can't face the truth. Y'all can't fight the truth, man. You know? Mm-hmm. So the Lord's making y'all look like dummies. Oh, yeah. Verse 19 it says, If any man shall take away from the words of this book of this prophecy, the Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Which is death. You guys are not going to get salvation. You guys are going to be coming back in shame. But oh, why I did that? Why I just didn't listen? No, bro, it's going to be too late. You know, you're gonna be shameful for eternity. <laughs> you know, so 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 take so take that and, and think about it, man. Like, damn, when I come back, you know, eternal shame, forever and ever. That's deep, man. Knowing you fucked up, knowing you you knew it, but you wanted to take away and add away, all for a filthy lucre and vain glory. You know, come. On. This is Daniel 12, verse 2. Mm-hmm. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. You know? And you know, you know, the ones you know that's that's gonna have, you know, that um everlasting life, you know, the ones you know that know that they did what was required of them, you know, it's gonna be the elect, man. You know, the elect, you know, are, are gonna be the ones, you know, that that's gonna be happy. You know, they know they did everything that they were supposed to do from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They had faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, they did everything that was required to be delivered. You know, but who's going to have that, um, you know, matter of fact, I'm get that, that, um, that shame and everlasting tip. You know, that's going to be you two thirds that's going to come back through the, um, the loins of the elect, man. You know, you, a lot of you may going to have your head down for a long period of time, man. You know, but and ultimately, it's going to be all right, man. You know, y'all, y'all going to come out of that, man, because we're going to all be righteous, man, you know. We're going to tell you, you know, all right, man, it was all right, you know. But y'all ain't going to have y'all head down no more, man. But y'all going to know, man, you know, that, you know, y'all had went off, man. Come you know, on. but it's going to be all right because we're going to be brothers, man. We all going to be righteous, you know. And the laws of being our end part, we're going to be perfect, man. But, man, you know, just like pursuing to um, um, Zechariah 13 and 8, we're going to pray two-thirds and be cut off, man, you know. So, man, a lot of you, you, you dudes, you know, that doing what you want to do, thinking that you 
gonna remix the doctrine, man. You know, a lot of you niggas gonna get cut off and gonna be brought back, man. Right? You know, through the noise of what? Whether you believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you had something done. Yeah. Um, because, you know, like, like the title say, whether you believe it or not, mm -hmm. hey, should, should be, are these things not gonna come to pass? Mm -hmm. is, is the mark of the beast not gonna be here? You know, so on and so forth. This is uh, Romans 3 and 3. It says, For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? The Most High forbids. Yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy saying, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. All right? Mm -hmm. So, hey. Like the title say, man, whether you believe it or not, that's not going to stop the show. Like the brother said, you know, things are still, uh, uh, prophecies are still coming to pass. Come on, right? Come on. You're not, you, in one month, you don't stop no show, man. Mm -hmm. All right, whether you believe or whether you, you know, hear or forbear, man, you'll know that when these things start coming to pass, that a prophet has been amongst you, okay? Come on. So, you know, your, your unbelief don't make, make not... Not, not even a little bit of uh, 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 matter when it comes to what the Lord has planned. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay. And it's not going to stop us. That's right. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep pushing the name of Yahweh Hashem al and the correct doctrine, how the way it's supposed to be. Because us brothers, we're tired of living here. We're tired of this place. We're tired of this, this wickedness going on. We're tired of you other camps you remixing the, the doctrine. So we're just going to stay focused on Yahweh Hashem al so we can get the hell up out of here, man. You know? You guys don't want your own. Oh, can you read that Romans 3? Come, come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Romans chapter 3 and verse, start back at 3. Mm -hmm. This is Romans chapter 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe, <coughs> shall their unbelief make the faith of the most high without effect? There you go. So like the brother said, this literally, uh, us doing this live stream and naming it whether you believe or not, or whether you believe it or not, is showing our stubbornness towards your how about Shah. When you're and when, I'm gonna get the word stubborn real quick. Okay? Because when you're stubborn, that means you're hard headed. <laughs> Alright, you might as well hold Ezekiel the third chapter, which says make your a head your adamant flint. Because when you're stubborn, you're hard headed. Okay? And it's good to be uh, uh, stubborn, stubborn in a correct manner, or in in a, in a righteous sense. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, bear with me one second. I'm just gonna look it up on Google. Google stubborn. All right. The word stubborn means having or showing a uh, dodge determination. Not to change one's attitude mm -hmm. or position on something, especially in spite of good of a of good arguments or reasons to do so. Difficult to move, remove, or cure. Okay? Alright, so it's difficult to remove us from the belief. Uh what's get uh, Romans 8. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, um, I want to say it's like 37 or something like that, where it speaks about nor life nor death separates from the love of Yahweh Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You have to find that. But again, it says uh, stubborn. It says having or showing God's determination not to change one's attitude or posi position or something. So when we read Romans 3 and 3, we're not just reading it because it applies. You know, it, of course, we're reading it because it applies to something, but we read it because we actually mean it. Meaning as, yo. I don't care what you think. Mm -hmm. I don't care how you act. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you do. I don't care how many facts you think you can prove to me showing this, that, and the third, or why you don't believe in the Bible, or why you think it's fake, or why you don't think this is gonna happen. I don't care because I know it's gonna happen. You cannot change my mind on it. You will not change my mind on it mm -hmm. because I'm in a state of mindset whether you believe it or not, I don't care. Okay? If you believe it, well, come on. Let's do this work then. If you're not going to do this work, I don't care, bro. Because there ain't nothing else to do. 
we already we already talked about what the, the, the whole duty of a man is to do is to keep the commandments and the fear of the Lord. John, huh? So if you ain't gonna do that, I don't care, bro. All right, and it it goes on to say, uh, shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? In the next verse, says, God forbid, we in hell, no. Okay, it's going to happen. You got that Romans eight? Come on, Romans eight and. Because this is going to be, this is another um, uh, precept. This is, yeah, another, this is another precept on to show how the men of the Lord are stubborn as hell, okay? When it comes to being in the faith and being 100% uh, uh, obedient and believing what Yahweh Shem Yahshai is to do, okay? Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is uh, Romans 8 and verse 39. Mm -hmm. Nor height, nor depth, mm -hmm. nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High. That's right. Nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature. All right? Um, get a... Where, where are you right now? Uh, verse 39. Go to verse 35. Come on. This is Romans 8 and verse 35. Yeah. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Mashiach? That's a rhetorical question. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Because the, the scriptures say, if... And it said, uh, Paul uses the word if a lot, okay? If reminds me of something called the if factor. If you have an if, that means you got a choice, mm -hmm. okay? Now, the scriptures tell us to stand fast. The, in the book of Revelation, the second chapter, it tells us to, to hold on, pretty much paraphrasing, paraphrasing, to hold on what we got, meaning uh, that's Revelation 2 and 25. Hold fast until I come, okay? So if we're <coughs> holding fast unto something, and we're told to do that. That means we ain't going to separate from it. Okay, so we read that. John, this is Romans 8 and verse 35. Mm -hmm. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shah Mashiach? Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shah Mashiach? Rhetorical question. Okay, meaning nobody. Nobody should. Come on, come on. Okay, if somebody is, that means you're weak. Okay, one went to the faint heart. All right, and Shalom, Yahweh Shah Mashiach brought the thumb to the Akim on the. Uh, Watching the live stream. Shalom. 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 But go ahead, brother. Tom um, continues says, shall tribulation or distress mm -hmm. or persecution mm -hmm. or famine mm -hmm. or nakedness <clears throat> or uh, pearl, peril, peril, mm -hmm. Tom, or sword. Or sword. Keep going. Tom, verse okay, three. so watch it because all the, he's made, Paul is naming all these things. Can all these things do it? Keep going. Verse 36, as it is written, for thy sake. We are killed all the day long. Uh -huh. We are accounted as sheep mm -hmm. for the slaughter. That's right. Keep going. Nay, and all things uh, slot. Nay, and all these things, we are more than conquerors. conquerors through Him that loved us. That's right. We're more than conquerors through Him that loved us. The, the, the nigga when we love him. We are more than conquerors. It's even in a song. Yeah, like, like <laughs> nah, y'all don't know what that means because y'all are stubborn. And steadfast, uh, and steadfast in the Lord. Okay, going back to the word trim. I brought out the adjective of the word trim. That means to be neatly dressed or or smartly dressed. Okay. Now, when you go into the noun or the verb trim, it means to strengthen and fortify. Okay. So when you're trimming, you are becoming. You're, that means you are stubborn. Okay, because I'm, I'm going to take this bullshit that's off of me and I'm going to continue in the, in the stead that I want to continue in. That you, that's you being stubborn in something that you believe in. Keep going, brother. Con, verse 38. Mm -hmm. For I am persuaded uh -huh. that neither death, neither death, nor life, nor life, nor angels, nor angels, nor principality. Now we're getting into the spiritual aspect of things. So he went into the carnal things. Okay? What was that? Verse uh, 30, 38. No. I mean, uh, 30, 35. Yeah, he nine. went into the tribulation, which is going to come upon us, which we're going to see in the carnal flesh. The distress, which we're going to see in the carnal flesh. The persecution, which is going to happen to some of us in the carnal flesh. Nine. The famine. Some of us ain't going to eat a lot, but we understand the scriptures. We're going to eat. You know, you're a man of the Lord. Okay? Nine. It says, or nakedness. Flesh, peril, flesh, peril. That's something that Paul knew 
wholeheartedly about. He says in perils of my uh, of robbery and perils of my yeah. own country. Yep. Yeah. You know, it says sword. These are carnal things. Now the brother, uh, the, the apostle Paul is going into the spiritual things that won't even separate you. If you are stubborn and steadfast, ten feet down and, and uh, uh, for the Lord, man, keep going. Kind, nor powers, mm -hmm. nor things present, uh -huh. nor things to come. Woo! Nor things present, nor things to come. Okay, it said principalities and powers. That's why Ephesians 6 is such a heavy chapter. Mm -hmm. Because we put on the armor to defeat or to uh, 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 defend ourselves against certain principalities and powers. Come. Okay? Keep going, brother. Come, verse 39. Nor height, mm -hmm. nor depth, nor any ink. Oh, so like, nor any other no, creature. Nor, nor any other creature. Uh -huh. Because we understand what it says in, in Wisdom of Solomon 17. <clears throat> this going to be newly created beasts. So watch that. I think that's Wisdom of Solomon 11. You know? There's going to be apparitions to come. come. And we understand what it says in Revelation 10 and 4. Where um, the seven thunders uttered a voice and told, and told John the Revelator not to write those. So there's certain things in the scripture that have not been written yet that we are going to see. Got to be prepared for that, but not even that is going to separate us because we're stubborn. Keep going. Kind of the creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High. None of that. Keep going. Which is in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, our power, our Lord. You got something? Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Oh, this is John 10, and I'll start at uh, verse 24. It says, Then came the Jews round right about them and said unto them, how long does thou make us to doubt? If thou be um, the Mashiach, mm -hmm. tell us plainly. Mm -hmm. Yahweh shall answer them, I told you, and ye believe not. Mm -hmm. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. Hey, look. Mm -hmm. Okay? Facts. This is a quick, a quick uh, facts. If I'm Chris Johnson, mm -hmm. who used to play for the Tennessee Titans, and I come up to you and tell you I ran four two forty. No, no, you didn't. Go look at my combine. Exactly. Go look at it. I'm one of the fastest running backs to ever play the game of the uh, NFL. Same thing that Howard Shaw is saying right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't believe me? Look at my works. Exactly. Facts. Right. <laughs> Whether you believe it or not, mm -hmm. I did it. Exactly. Okay, mm -hmm. keep going. It says, but ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep. Oh, ye a little faith. Right. Okay? The ones who are not a part of the fold are the ones, Yahweh Shah is saying, oh, ye a little faith. When the, when the wicked scribes and Pharisees, because you have to say the wicked scribes, because there was some righteous ones, mm -hmm. a.k.a. Paul. Mm -hmm. He was a Pharisee. All right? So when the wicked scribes and Pharisees came, okay, what? He said, oh, ye a little faith. Okay? When he rebuked Peter, oh ye of little faith, whether you believe it or not, man, I just did it. Uh -huh. Peter, I told you to come here. I walked on water. You saw it. Mm -hmm. Whether you believe it or not. Mm -hmm. And when you start that, when you start not believing, that's when you sink. That's right. You know? Yeah. You got more. Yeah. There's more. Verse 27. <laughs> uh, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Woo! And I know them. That's right. Okay? Those are the ones, those are the sheep that are explained and, and told about in what we just read in Romans the 8th chapter. Mm -hmm. Where nothing is going to separate them from their shepherd. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing. He's going to be like, hey, yo! There might be a thorn, thorns here, some fire that you're going to go through. That's right. Ain't nothing going to separate us. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get to my shepherd. Keep going, brother. And it says, and I will give unto them eternal life, mm -hmm. and they shall never perish. Get, uh, so I'll pass it right back to you. No, you good, bro. This is good stuff, man. It's good rolling, man. Get the book of Sirach, chapter 18 and 10, yeah. okay? Because mm -hmm. that's beautiful, because he gave the ones who heard him, the ones who were of little faith, I mean, Sirach, the ones who weren't of little faith, mm -hmm. but abundant amount of faith. Okay, they were laden with faith. <laughs> right. Okay, right. not with iniquity, but right. laden with faith. Because we want to tell we're laden with the bottom, yeah. which means numerous mm -hmm. or abundant amount. Mm -hmm. Okay, they had a numerous amount of faith. Okay, heard his voice, 
And he said what again? It says, and I give them eternal life. Get that. This is Ecclesiastes of Sirach 18, verse 10. As they drop the water unto the sea, and they grab the stone in comparison of the sand, so are a thousand years to the days of eternity. Read it one more time. I'm going to read that again. This is Ecclesiastes of Sirach 18, verse 10. As they drop the water unto the sea, mm -hmm. and they grab the stone in comparison of the sand, Hold that. so are Hold a that. thousand years. Hold that. It mm -hmm. says, as a drop of water in the sea, mm -hmm. and a gravel in the sand, go to a beach, <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and try to pick up one gravel of sand. And if you, were, if you accomplish that task, okay, it might be some tweezers, if you accomplish that task, look at that gravel and then look up and down the beach at all the sand that is left. Right. That is a comparison. That's a that gravel of sand is a thousand years to the rest of eternity. Keep going. We'll what does it say about the sea? I'm gonna read from the top again. As a drop of water unto the sea. So stop there. So a drop of water in the sea. All right. <laughs> Go get a tinge from bottom. And get that little dropper. Go to the Atlantic Ocean, whatever. If you live on in California, getting burnt up over there. Over there. Go to the Pacific Ocean, or if you over here in Atlanta or wherever, go to, go to the Atlantic Ocean. Get a little tincture, drop it. You scoop up some water and then drop it on on your, your thumb or something. I don't fucking know. On your like, hand. <laughs> And then look at how vast the ocean is. Right. That's what a thousand years is to eternity. Finish it off. And a gravel stone in comparison of the sand, mm -hmm. so are a thousand years to the days of eternity. Woo! And if you are abundant in faith, yep. and if you hear your shepherd, mm -hmm. that's what's going to be given to you. Yep. Reread uh, where it said the sheep hear his voice. Uh -huh. Where he goes the sheep. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. John 10 and 27, mm -hmm. my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I will give unto them eternal life. Now go to Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 15. Come, this is Wisdom of Solomon 1 and verse 15. For the righteousness is immortal. Woo! For the righteousness is immortal. Okay? And the ones who are righteous are the ones... Not the, not the ones we have to say whether you believe it or not. Uh -huh. It's the ones we say, oh, you believe? believe? Yeah. That's it. Kinda. I don't have to say the or not part. Mm -hmm. You believe it. All right? Keep going. That's that's a righteous thing to do to acknowledge Kinda. the Howard Washington Howard Shot. Okay? Keep going, brother. And then we can get your precept. Come. Verse 16. But ungodly men with their works and words called it to them. For when they thought to have it their friend have consumed to not and made a covenant with it because they are worthy to take part with it. Mm -hmm. So guess what? All right, the ones who don't believe ain't going to take uh, a part in what the, what, what was that we read in uh, uh, Revelation 22? Mm -hmm. uh, he did it. No, I got that Taking away from taking, the taking away. Yeah. The, 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 the last part of that, mm -hmm. it said, uh, matter of fact, let me get it real quick. That be subjected to the plagues that the are in. That, mm -hmm. but it, it's. You the life? Um, it would be out the yeah. book of life. Yeah. Um, it said, but it said, just Revelation 22 and 19, and if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, the Most High shall take away his part of the book of life mm -hmm. and of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. And what's one thing written in the book that we just read? Right. Immortality. <laughs> Eternal life. Eternal life. Because you didn't want to listen. You got more on that? Yeah. Johnson, it's, 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 we'll get your precept. Uh, kind of, kind of. It says, um, and I give unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Ooh, mm -hmm. Neither any man shall pluck them. It's going to keep going, too. Yeah, it, 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 it,
All right? He, he, Howard Shai himself said, you ain't going to get these 11 and 44 out of my hand. Keep going. Right. My father, which gave them to me, is greater than all. Uh -huh. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. Let's, let's solidify it real quick. You ain't going to get the 11. If you ain't going to get them out of my hand, which is definitely no. Right. And I'm saying you ain't going to get it who's greater than you. Yeah, Howard, you ain't going to get that. It's impossible, bro. Yeah. That means they're stubborn. Exactly. The ones who are in his hand is the ones who want to be there. Right. They're stubborn yeah. because they believe yeah. and nothing else uh, uh, weighs with them. You get your precept. You got it. Uh, um, uh, uh -huh. call it. Right. This is 2 Timothy 1 verse 10. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, mm -hmm. that they may also obtain the salvation which is in the Hamashiach and how shout with eternal glory. Only for the elect's sake, you know. Not for no person who just don't believe. You know, like the brother said, it won't be no or. It's either you believe or not. But only the elect is going to believe. And the great multitude that's going to come with the elect, you know. The one third, you know. But um, does anyone have any? I had, I had, uh, I had some. Uh, this is uh, Hebrews 10 and 23. It says, let us hold fast the profession of our faith yes, sir. without wavering. Yes, sir. And it goes back to that, not that, that stubbornness. Because mm -hmm. wavering, uh, I actually had the word pulled up. Basically, yeah. Here. The book of James. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, uh, that word wavering goes into swaying and, and throwing. So you, it's, it says you, you will not Okay, without wavering. All right, so that goes back to that being, being stubborn, like the brother uh, brought out. It says, "Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful. For he is faithful that promised." Okay, so without wavering, man, hold hold fast. All right, those are those that believe. Okay, they're gonna they're gonna hold fast without wavering. No, you, you can read that definition again for Bob Christian. Uh, uh, wavering, it says to sway to and fro, flutter. You know, you brought out a point. You said, like, going back and forth, to and fro. You know, that's, that's going back to um, being double minded, too. Okay. You know? Okay. 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 Oh, come on, come on. You said what? But yeah, that, that goes back to being double minded, you know? You've been unstable in all your ways, you know? Don't be, don't be wavering, man. Just believe, you know? What the um the book of Sirach, the second chapter said what? Trust in the Lord. He's gonna be there for you, you know? That's all you gotta do. But believe it or not, you're gonna you either you believe it or not. You know, and that day, if you come across a man of the Lord, if you believe, boom, you're gonna get saved. If you don't believe, death is coming to you. A missile's coming to you. The players are coming to you. You know? Jacob's trouble's gonna hit you hard, man. You know, because we're not doing this for vain and glory. We're only doing this, like I said earlier, so we can get up out of here and we ultimately honor and glorify Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. You know, we're shameful for the things we did. You know, that's why we what humble. That's why we just don't care about what what other niggas say. <laughs> you know, we do it the same reason reason Yahweh Shai did. Come, all right. Mm -hmm. Go yeah, yeah, come through faith, man. And we know we fucked up. That's why we're low. That's why we keep our heads down. That's why we, we pray. We're sighing and crying. We're sorry. We're repenting. We're coming back. Mm -hmm. You know? The Most High said he winked at our ignorance because we didn't know. Mm -hmm. But we're in a time of repentance. And we're in a time of a, a, a spiritual war. You know? But yo, uh, what, what you about to say? Bro? I was about to say, like, we're doing the same thing that I was trying to was doing, Come on. you know, but uh, uh, how was I didn't care what was going on. He even told he, he, he turned the water into wine. He even told his mom, "Woman, what this got to do with me?" Yeah, I don't care about that. I'm about my father's business, right. you know. But if you don't mind, can I bring this precept out? Come on, come on. I have that on um, James for you. Okay, come on, come on. Because uh, like like I said, we're doing the same thing. And how shy I did. So this is John chapter 17 and 4. I have glorified thee on earth, 
I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. Okay? It's the same thing we're going to be saying. Okay? It's like, Lord, Lord, when you see the missiles coming, I went on my highway to go. I did my lessons, man. I got a thousand with me right now. You know what I'm saying? I brought in, I brought in your, uh, your fruit. You know what I'm saying? Barbara Shaw, get us out of here, but Barbara Shaw, that's when you get dinged up. Yeah. Okay? I did what you asked me to do while I was on earth to the best of my ability. Okay? It's the same. This is what, when you read this in John 17 and 4, this is a red letter. But this is how Shah is speaking to his father. That's how you know they're separate entities. Oh, my gosh. Come on, come on. Okay? <laughs> Verse 5. Man, you got to real simple it's not to true. understand. It's like, like, like so who's he talking to? Talking himself? To himself. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, okay. So Alright. Okay. So <laughs> Alright, man. Go build me something else. Yes, uh, John 17 and 5. It says, and now, this is what, because this is what we do it for. Alright? Because this is what how Shah was doing it for too, man. And now, O oh Father, glorify thou me with thy own self with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. That goes back to Sirach, the 24th chapter. But also, he says, glorify me. But the verse above, he said, I did the work that you told me to do. Can you glorify me? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing that we're fighting for. We're humble with it, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We don't look for the glory and the fame right now. But Lord, when we get beamed up in the chariot, we're going to obtain the glory. He's going to give it to us because we did what he asked him to do. Come on. And we believed. But that's what we find him. That's what we're doing it for. We're doing the same thing that Howard Shai did. He was doing this work to be glorified and magnified and get his elect, get his gift back. Yeah. You know? Come on. Yeah, I it. yeah, and I got that James for you. This is James 1 and 8. It says, A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Oh, <laughs> oh you know, you know, when that, that Adam. Death, a nuclear bomb. There's something called nuclear fission. All right, nuclear fission goes back to a man named Otto Hahn. All right, who's an Edomite. Okay, <laughs> nuclear fission goes back to him. What is that? It's when you split an atom, God dang it. And when the atom is split, it becomes unstable, which cre creates energy, which creates a boom. Okay, yes. that's what. That's what unstable does to you. It, ex it implodes inside of you. Okay? You want to be constructed. Alright? Even, even so, the scriptures tell, uh, in Proverbs the first chapter, it tells you to uh, take instruction. Instruct. Okay? So something in you that is put together. You don't want to implode and be disassembled. Okay? So if you're double-minded, you are definitely unstable, man. You are unstable Adam, and you will you will implode and explode, okay? And uh -huh. it will show mm -hmm. you. Gotta know. It's just like us being trees, right? Mm -hmm. You know, the scriptures talks about being rooted up. How can the tree be rooted up if it's unstable? When that when that strong wind comes, when Satan comes, how can you overcome Satan? How can you overcome death when you're unstable? You know, that's what. That goes back to that X once again. That's why this is a time to get it while it's getting. You know, the time of repentance. Keep praying. You know, so we won't be unstable. So we won't waver. So we can just believe that He's gonna get us up out of here. You know. You know, um, continuing in our constellation, our calling. And what you got, bro? I got something. Come on, come on. This Luke eighteen. I started at seven. And shall not the most high avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I got nothing. Can you stop right there? Yeah. yeah, you know, he's coming to get us because we're signing and crying. Mm -hmm. But believe it or not, those who, who do it, what, for vain and glory, you guys are not signing and crying. You guys are living it up. But at the end of the day, we don't care, you know? That's why we're going to stay focused, you know, in our occupation. And our constellation, once again, you can take a bar for sure. You can take one to eight. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Mm. 
That's us right there. He's gonna come and save us. You know? Keep going. Yeah, kind of. He's coming back only for his elect. Because we wasn't unstable. We was always ready. We was always focused. Mm -hmm. You know? We was always calling on your heart by all the We was always, you know, with each other, training talents. We was always doing the things that were necessary for our salvation, you know? But um, that was it on that? Yes. Yeah, I got nothing else. I got something else. Yeah, we can close it on time. This 1 John 4 and 17, herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, mm. because as he is, so are we in this world. As he is, so are we. Are we following the ways of Yahweh by Shina Osha? Sure. Are we trying to follow him? Was not he bold? Didn't he sacrifice himself? Why not us for him? You know? Why not continue in his faith? Didn't Satan come up to him, tempting him? Of course he's gonna come and tempt us. Will we defeat? Will we defeat it? Yes. We will defeat him. We will defeat temptation. We will defeat death. If we continue to walk in his ways. You know? He was made perfect. We want to be perfect like Yahweh Shah. You know? But I know that was that was it. Alright, well, um, we hope you brothers got edified. And before we close out, we would like to give our honor and glory unto Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shem of Kakwadash, a devil honest to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to your hope of 144 elect that's been pushing this truth. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.